All right, happy Heart Health Month, last week of February. So I wanted to do this video um, really quickly about heart health and why I use a MyZone belt to help me get that heart rate variability. So um, one thing that's really important for heart health is to be able to get your heart rate up and to be able to get your heart rate down. So one thing that I've seen um, in my classes from using a MyZone belt is that some people who are really unfit actually can't get their heart rate up. And that, that is a sign that um, maybe your heart health is not so good. The other thing is people who get their heart rate up really high and can't drop it very well. That's actually not very good for your heart either. Your heart rate likes to go up high and then we want to recover very well. So we want to see a nice variability in our heart rate, especially when we're working out. Um, so I use the MyZone MZ3 in my offices. Um, and I use them in my classes. Um, I have a lot of my family, my friends that use it. Um, I use it for all of my weight loss patients. Uh, and the reason why I do that is I also have an Apple watch. Um, but the reason why I really, really like the MyZone belt is that you can visually see the different heart rate ranges that you're in. And that can help you give an idea of the actual intensity that you're doing. So, um, on my Apple watch, it'll track like my calories or like the time that I'm doing. It'll give me like a guesstimation of, um, what it thinks my intensity was or, or how the workout is, but like I can fudge it. I could do a yoga class. Right. And it's giving, um, it's interpretation of how many calories you're burning. Um, so it's just saying that on average people who do yoga, um, burn X number of calories per hour on average, people who do strength training burn X number of calories per hour. Um, but it's not necessarily tied to you and your intensity of your heart rate. So I use my, my zone every time I work out and do cardio, because it's really, really valuable for me to see actually how hard I was working. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to share my screen. Um, and what I'm going to do is you can actually see on here, this is the my zone belt on here. So you can see that it, it's worn right underneath your chest. There's two electrodes on there, um, so that it can track your heart rate pretty accurately. And then this is the graph that you're going to get afterwards. So, um, gray really means that you're not doing anything. So I put on this my zone belt right at the beginning of my class. And obviously I'm not doing hardly anything. So if you're in the gray, your entire workout, that's an excellent indicator that you're not working very hard. Um, and this is actually what a lot of my patients find is that they are, they use a my zone and they think that they're working out really hard. And then they see, wow, I'm in the gray and the blue a lot. And that is an excellent reason why people do not lose weight is that their, their exercise intensity is not very high. So then you can see that I start getting up into the green. That's like pretty easy, moderate, um, effort. Then we get into the yellow. That's pretty hard effort. And then red is max. Um, so I love seeing red that really motivates me. And if I don't see red in my workout, that probably means that I wasn't pushing very hard. Um, but the other thing is like I was saying with a uh, heart rate variability, you can see I come up and then I drop a bit and then I come up and then I drop a bit and then I come up and I drop. Um, that's, that's training your heart to do the heart rate variability. And that's a sign of being a good athlete is when your heart rate can actually drop pretty quickly. And you can see that at 1105, my heart rate was pretty high. I was in the red. And just a few minutes later, 1109, I was already in the green. A few minutes later, I was in the blue kind of teetering green blue for the next couple minutes. And then a couple minutes later, I was fully in the gray again. So that took me about 15 minutes to get back down. And I was still exercising in this. This is the end of my class. So coming down, stretching, cooling down, still talking. And then I get off the bike, pull off my my zone belt. This is actually what I'm getting in my car is when I pull off my my zone belt. So 15 minutes later, my heart was completely recovered. Um, so I love, love, love seeing this, but this is what I use to assess whether or not my patients are pushing themselves. So I'm actually going to show you uh, my husband's and he's going to hate me for this. But um, if you look at his graphs, this is in one of my cycle classes. So this was my cycle class and 
in what I did. And yes, I was teaching. So I was exerting myself a little bit more by yelling, but so you can see I'm in the red and the yellow, pretty much the entire class. And then you go and you see his, and he said that this was a challenging class. But if you look over here, the average effort was 58%. <laughs> and so he clearly wasn't pushing himself very much, right? He was in the green and the blue, the entire class. And then he came and recovered pretty quickly. So he didn't push himself very hard. And this is what I see in my patients all the time is that they'll come in, they'll tell me they're working out really hard. They don't understand why they're not losing weight. And part of that is because you really, really do have to push yourself hard. And my my zone belt like really helps me with that. So um, if you're curious about it, let me know. Um, I can get you a my zone belt. There's tons of different heart rate monitors, but the, the whole point of me bringing this up is that that heart rate variability and really seeing your heart rate during your exercise can affect your health a lot. Um, so that's why I use them. And I hope this video helped. And if you want video topics that you want me to cover, let me know.